Welcome friends, myself Ramakar Dubey and today through our YouTube channel Textile Technos, we will discuss about ring frame yarn breakages. Friends, before we control yarn breakages on ring frame, we should first understand the classification, causes and behavior which leads the yarn to break on ring frame. So watch this video till the end to make the ring frame work with controlled yarn breakage rates. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Textile Technos and press bell button to get new video notifications. Based on observation and experience, we can broadly classify the yarn breakages into three zones, that is feed, drafting and spin. And the factors affecting ring frame breakages are feed quality, process parameter, tension factors, yarn quality and miscellaneous. We will elaborate the details considering both the zone and the factors. The first cause and factor for ring frame yarn breakages is feed and feed quality. Roving irregularity having thin place and slurp leads to weak place generation and so it causes either roving break at ring frame creel or yarn break after drafting. Roving TPI also plays an important role in yarn breakage rate at ring frame. Unsufficient TPI in roving leads to ring frame creel breakages and higher TPI in roving leads to undraft or hard end on ring frame. Moreover, the undrafted roving does not suck into the suction pipe easily, so may cause multiple yarn breakages on ring frame. As a guideline for roving TPI, I would say that it should be sufficient that the speed frame works with zero bottom flyer breakages. And in ring frame back zone, the roving should be easily pressable by thumb. It should not be too hard. And at ring frame, there should be zero krill breakages. Moreover, the content on roving bobbin should be appropriate to avoid high drill opening. Roving guides should be damage free and the diameter should not be too small as under both cases, the thin places will be created which will lead to higher ring frame yarn breakages. Bobbin holders should be free rotational to avoid thin creation in yarn. The second area of control is drafting zone and parameters. Since the ring frame generally bottom roll gauges are not advisable to change frequently. So based on planned and tentative longest fiber, bottom roll gauge should be adopted. And during working short fibers, it should be compensated by reducing brake draft. The front saddle should be such that the top apron and top front roll should have a clear cap of one to two mm in top arm loaded condition. Narrow saddle gauge leads to higher end breakages. Draft from ring frame should not exceed by 42, which not only increases higher IPI, but also creates higher breakages on ring frame. Top arm loading, especially in pneumatic loading system, there should be assured uniform loading across all the spindles. The variation in loading causes higher end breakages. Cot size and buffing schedules should be properly adapted as it is the main reason for lapping on ring frame. Spacer size should not be too small because on one side we try to control IPI but other side the end breakages becomes uncontrollable. The size of the spacer should be one step above the undrafted roving observation. The worn out aprons are stretched in size which creates uncontrolled fibers in drafting zone causing higher end breakages. The third area is spin and tension. It includes the spindle speed which should support by our ring frame mechanical condition. Increase in spindle speed can only be planned if the preventive and spares of ring frame are perfect. Ring traveler weight should be with zero weight variation across the ring traveler lot. And the profile should match with the material count and type of yarn which is being produced. Fly catcher gauge should have 1.8 to 2 mm gap with ring traveler. Worn out tapes causes TPI variation and leads to weak yarn generation. OHTC should be effective and the air blow from the nozzles should be optimum. Moreover, the nozzles should not disturb the fibers in the drafting zone. The last point of consideration is miscellaneous, in which spindle speed pattern is the major cause for higher end breakages. The speed pattern should be smooth graphically without any bumps or sharp points. 
the ratio of average spindle speed to maximum spindle speed should be in range of 95 to 97%. For preventive maintenance, centering of a spindle, slabet and anti-balloon ring should be confirmed as out gauge causes higher end breakages. Also, ring rail movement should be confirmed as smooth working without any jerk. This was all with the ring frame topics. Now let us see the raw material which contributes on yarn breakage rate. Seed coat naps and trash in carded and combed fiber should be under controlled as seed coat naps and trash leads to weak places and may result into yarn breakages. Variation in micronoids should be under control within mixing as this variation also causes higher end breakages in ring frame. Hope with the above discussion, we may curve our ring frame breakages and result in better productivity. We also hope you are convinced with the details. We will be back soon. Till then, take care.